Welcome to a brand new season of Cambridge Zoocast. We've got a great lineup of graduate students ready to tell you all about their research and their life in Cambridge. And first up, we've got Alec Christie. Hi, I'm Alec. I'm a second year PhD student and I'm in the Conservation Evidence Group. So, Alec, first of all, tell me about your research. OK, yeah. So my research is all about the use of uh, evidence in conservation. And specifically, what I'm interested in is the reliability and relevance of evidence um, and how that differs with different people and different practitioners in conservation. OK, brilliant. And how did you get into this line of work? Um, well, I was just really interested in having a PhD project that was applied. So something that would really make a difference on the ground. Um, so I became very interested in some of Bill Southern's work. So the Conservation Evidence Group looks at summarising uh, publications um, in the scientific literature that test whether conservation interventions work or not. And so basically they've amassed this massive database of studies um, which then can then inform people in conservation as to the correct actions that they should be taking um, based on the effectiveness of those actions. That's really cool. So can that be accessed by anyone? Yes, yeah, so it's completely open access, free to access online. Um, so there's a, a website called Conservation Evidence and yeah, you can just go on there and browse the evidence that's available. Amazing. So you can really see the effect of your work on the ground. So. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So that's, that's a real, that was a real priority for me in terms of the PhD project that I wanted to take part in. So yeah. Perfect. So what would you say are the biggest challenges for your work? OK, I mean, for me, coming into the PhD, I wasn't necessarily brilliant at programming. So I've had to learn quite a lot in terms of how to program, uh, using our um, accessing databases. So probably for me, it's probably been a steep learning curve in terms of developing those sort of skills, I would say. Yeah. So on a more positive note, what is your favourite thing about your PhD? I would actually say my research group. I really love my research group. They're a really great group of people, um, really good to work with. My supervisor is really nice. Um, and yeah, I, I just feel like I'm, you know, in a really nice group and I can get the most out of my work and get feedback from them and advice. So yeah. So speaking about your research group, you work in the David Attenborough building and we just so happen to have uh, Sir David Attenborough's uh, butterflies here, which were kindly donated to the museum. So can you tell us a little bit about what it's like to work in the David Attenborough building? Yeah, yeah sure. So the David Attenborough building has three floors and on every floor there's a conservation organisation. So like the RSPB and BirdLife International. Um, and on the top level is the University of Cambridge um, Conservation Research Institute. And throughout the building actually runs this living wall, which is quite incredible. So there's plants plugged into the side of the wall all the way up from different locations around the world. And David Attenborough actually abseiled down that living wall to open the building. Amazing. Did you meet him at that point? I didn't actually. Um, I wasn't here at the time, but um, yeah, I've recently gone to a few lectures that he's given and um, yeah, so it's, it's an amazing place to be. Yeah. So it sounds like you do quite a lot of stuff in the department, mm -hmm. but what do you do the rest of the time that you're in Cambridge? I'm really into wildlife photography, so I do a lot of that around Cambridge. Um, and also quite into geocaching, which is um, a sort of a hobby where you um, basically go around with an, a mobile app and you find hidden containers that are hidden around the country. Um, and around the world, actually. So, yeah, that's quite good fun. So does that take you just around Cambridge city centre, or are you sort of going into the fens looking for things? Yeah, yeah. So, I go into the, the fens and, yeah, North Norfolk sometimes and Suffolk. So, yeah. So, I try and try and get out of Cambridge a bit. And do you see some sort of good wildlife out in the fens? Yeah. So, you can see things like bitterns, uh, marsh harriers. Yeah, some really cool wildlife. So, speaking of wildlife, yeah. if you could be any animal, what would you be? I would probably be a bird of prey. I think it'd be just the feeling to be flying and to be soaring above uh, the, the world, it'd be really cool. Um, and I know on things like Spring Watch, that when they've attached cameras to birds of prey, just the, the shots just seem incredible. Very good choice. Yeah. I like it. Okay, so you've still got a few more years left in Cambridge, but when all that is done, where do you see yourself in, say, 10 years' time? OK, in 10 years, I'd really like to be doing probably something to do with policy, so making a real difference, hopefully, in government or advising government on the best ways to protect wildlife, yeah. Amazing. Well, best of luck with that. Thank so thank you so much, Alec, for joining us today and telling us all about your Cambridge experience. And thank you for tuning in and watching it. And if you'd like to know about the next episode of ZooCast coming out, then make sure you subscribe and you'll find out first.